Now we have our fresh batch of biodiesel in the BioPro 190. We've just drained off the glycerin and we're going to connect it to the T76 dry wash system which has the premium package installed on it. So to connect it there, we first click in the included cam lock fitting onto the BioPro 190. We connect that with the JIC fitting to the T76 premium package. Just give it a quick tighten. Good. All right, so we just connected that fitting there. And of course, this uh, can just as easily be connected to any other biodiesel processor. Now, before we start this up, we want to double check to make sure that all of our valves are open on this. That includes two valves on the bottom of each one of the columns. The, the inlet valve, the outlet valve, the valve coming from our biodiesel processor, and the two valves on the top of the columns, the two valves right here. Having double checked that, we're ready to begin cleansing our fuel. Now to actually start the T76 dry wash system, we just make sure it's plugged into a standard 110 volt outlet and we just turn it on. So we have our T76 dry wash system running here. As we can see, it's drawing in fuel from our biodiesel processor through the inlet valve. It pulls it through a suction strainer to protect the pump, through the metering pump, and then it pumps it up into the internal plumbing of the machine. From there, it passes through a valve, then another valve into the lead column. We have a pressure gauge monitoring the pressure through the system. It's running about 10 pounds right now, which is just right. Then the fuel percolates through the lead column. Right now we have eco pure dry wash media in the lead column. It works its way down where most of the contaminants are absorbed, most of the bulk contaminants. It then passes through two other valves into the internal plumbing of the system, where it passes back up through a stainless steel braided line through two more valves into the lag column. Once again, we have a pressure gauge on this lag column. It's reading about seven PSI, which is just right. It percolates through the Thermax in the lag column. Obviously, the user can choose his own media, but uh, Thermax is the one that we've found has best results. Percolates through that lag column, through the Thermax there, back out the bottom through a couple more valves through the stainless steel lines, back up to the outlet, where there's a gauge that indicates uh, the pressure behind the fuel filter that we have built into the premium package. Passes through there, through the stainless steel line, through a fuel filter, and out into your storage barrel or wherever you might happen to be storing it. 